was the deal. Alright. So. I own three different types of. Types of kettlebell. Alright. Okay. So. The first one. That I ever owned. Was a cap. Barbell. Okay. And it's got a nice handle. And a. Semi. I mean the finish isn't that durable, but, I mean, but it's a it's a nice finish, but it's just not durable. Okay, but it's a decent uh, kettlebell. I would have bought a I would have bought a 70 pounder from Cap because they're not bad kettlebells, although they're not really flat uh, to to like do any kind of them, uh, push ups on your kettlebells kind of rock it's kind of hard to do but the handles are, are nice on them. now I cannot remember which brand this is but here it's it says it's 55 pounds and I bought it from Dick's and the reason I bought a 55 pounder is because they're getting rid of it okay for uh, at Dick's Sporting Goods because they're moving to the Ethos brand and this is a decent kettlebell, a pretty durable uh, finish, but but the handle is huge. Okay, so and and it's just it's uncomfortable to swing with. Okay, so here here's the uh, handle for the for the uh, for 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 the 55 pounder, and here's the handle. For the uh, 70 pounder and, and this is handles just a lot bigger at 55 pounds than then this one is at 70 pounds this handle reminds me of this one but in a 70 pound size it's it's comfortable okay and uh, I think this is an ethos but you know it's not very it's not a stable kettlebell uh, okay, so now I wanted like a 70 pounder because I like heaving up heavy weight and so I, I found out in Austin is where is the home of Kettlebell Kings and it's a 32 kilogram or a 71 pound kettlebell. Now it does not rock when you push on it like those other two. Uh, handles very very nice. Uh, I mean, by far the 55 or the 50 pound cap, it's got a nice handle on it, but the finish is crap. Well, the first day I, I had this, I did drop it on, on the concrete where I work out, but uh, this kettlebell king is a nice, is a nice uh, uh, kettlebell, you know, at 70 pounds. Um, you know, it's a lot, it, it, as far as like, you know, well made, I mean, it doesn't rock when you rock it. Like, both these rock. I mean, they're not stable at all. And this one, you can like see the seams, and it, the handle's real boxy. So, you know, just kind of a comparison of, of the kettlebells. And I have this, and I, I got two, I got uh, three more caps, but in actuality, if you're gonna start out in kettlebell, okay, and uh, he, I mean the, the finish on this one's crap, but it's from Walmart, okay. I guess it's the Gold's Gym brand or something. But um, you know, if you just want to try out being a kettlebell, I think they have them at Walmart for all the way up to 35 pounds. And uh, you know, so if you're starting out. You know, get you this Walmart brand kettlebell. I mean, it, it 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 it'll it'll serve you for what it is. So, um, but by far, uh, kettlebell kings has done their homework in in designing the kettlebell. 
uh, as far as stability. Now, I don't think this finish is all that great, but I think it's better than better better than the cap and the Walmart brand. I can't remember what brand that is, but that's got a pretty decent finish on it. I mean, I rake it up against concrete, and and you know, and there's the bottom of it, and here's the bottom of the cap, and, and here, and I've had this one a couple of days, and then there's the bottom of the uh, kettlebell kings. So, but I've had that. This I've worked out with this one a lot, and so the finish hasn't really came off that much as much as these. Uh, racking it up against the uh, the uh, the concrete where I work out at, but I really like like even look 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 at this. I mean, yep, the, 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 this kettlebell king is even stable on its side. But uh, kettlebell, if you want a durable probably on par with like the, the dragon door uh kettlebells they they had this new thing called seracote or caracote and it's a ceramic epoxy coat or something like that and it binds to metal really well but uh and and the guys at kettlebell kings are, 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 are you know they're great to deal with uh i was in awe when i went up to their factory because it was in austin south austin and I'm about 45 minutes away from there, and uh, they're real friendly people. Uh, you know, they, they they joked with me that they didn't know what they were going to do when they got out of college, so they just started getting, you know, selling kettlebells. This is funny, but uh, yeah. So I like I like that kettlebell, Kings. It's a very very well made kettlebell. 